So now we can take a look at the parallel plate capacitor equation. As a quick reminder of what a parallel plate capacitor is, we have these sort of schematic diagrams. In the 3D view, I see I've got two different plates, each with an area A and a distance separation of D. The side schematic view shows your distance D, but not so much of your um, plate area there. Now, you can have a dielectric in that, but we haven't gotten to that yet, so for now we're just going to assume we've got some empty space in there. Now, the equation for the capacitance here is going to depend on the properties which have been manufactured in. And just to go over this equation, without showing you where we got it from, we've got C standing for our capacitance, epsilon naught standing for our electrostatic constant, a stands for the plate area, and D is our distance between the plates, or the plate separation. That electrostatic constant, as a reminder, that's Greek letter epsilon naught, is our permittivity of free space. And it has a standard value given in most tables as a fundamental physical constant. And I just want to note for you right now, the units are Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. So now we can come back and take a look at the units. So we've already seen capacitance has an assigned unit of a farad. The electrostatic constant is coulomb squared per newton meter squared. Area, well that you should know is meter squared. And the distance between the plates is going to be something like meters. It might be given to you in centimeters, but make sure you put it into meters when you're doing the calculations. If I combined all these units over on the right hand side, I would have coulomb squared per newton meter squared times a meter squared over a meter. But notice those meter squares are going to be able to cancel out, leaving us with just a coulomb squared per newton meter. And of course, a newton meter from our earlier studies is also equal to a joule. So we've got a coulomb squared per joule being equal to a farad. So that's our parallel plate capacitor for the case where there's nothing in between the capacitor plates.